The year 1924 in science and technology involved some significant events, listed below. Astronomy and space exploration November 23 – Edwin Hubble announces his discovery that Andromeda, previously believed to be a nebula, is actually another galaxy, and that the Milky Way is only one of many such galaxies in the universe. The Einstein Tower near Potsdam, Germany, designed by Erich Mendelssohn, becomes operational as an astrophysical observatory. Mount Stromlo Observatory near Canberra, Australia, is established as the Commonwealth Solar Observatory. 1056 Azalea is discovered. Topic: <inaudible> Biology. <inaudible> the term ectogenesis is coined by British scientist J.B.S. Haldane to describe the growth of mammalian embryos in artificial environments. Biochemistry The first inactive tetanus toxoid is discovered and produced. History of science and technology December 17 – Dismantling of James Watt's workshop for display in the Science Museum, London, commences. Mathematics <laughs> 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 Stefan Banach and Alfred Tarski publish the Banach-Tarski paradox. David Hilbert proposes Hilbert's paradox of the Grand Hotel. Topic: <inaudible> Medicine. German physiologist and psychiatrist Hans Berger records the first human electroencephalogram. Topic: Paleontology. The first specimen of Australopithecus africanus, the fossil skull of the Tong child, is identified in South Africa. Topic: Physics. S. N. Bose and Albert Einstein publish papers in Zeitschrift für Physik applying Bose–Einstein statistics to light quanta and to atomic models and predicting existence of the Bose–Einstein condensate. E. C. Stoner publishes a paper pointing out that for a given value of the principal quantum number n, the number of energy levels of a single electron in the alkali metal spectra in an external magnetic field, where all degenerate energy levels are separated, is equal to the number of electrons in the closed shell of the rare gases for the same value of n. This leads to discovery of the Pauli exclusion principle. Louis de Broglie introduces the wave model of atomic structure, based on the ideas of wave-particle duality. And, Wolfgang Pauli first proposes his exclusion rule in a letter. <laughs> Technology February 5 – Hourly time signals from Royal Greenwich Observatory are broadcast for the first time. February – John Logie Baird sends rudimentary television pictures over a short distance. Václav Holik designs the ZBVZ. 26 light machine gun for Z Brojovka Brno. The Earth Inductor Compass is developed by Morris Titterington at the Pioneer Instrument Company in Brooklyn, New York. Topic: 
Awards Nobel Prizes Physics – Karl Mann Georg Siegbahn Medicine – Willem Einthoven Births February 21, Thelma Estrin, died 2014, American computer scientist and biomedical engineer. March 11, Franco Basaglia, died 1980, Italian psychiatrist. March 23, Bjorn G. Andersen, died 2012, Norwegian quaternary geologist and glaciologist, early environmental studies. June 24, James W. Black died 2010, Scottish pharmacologist, Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, 1988. August 1, John Clive Ward died 2000, English-born physicist working in quantum electrodynamics. September 22, Laurel Van Der Waal died 2009, American aeronautical engineer. November 9th Don Bevan died 2009 New Zealand medical researcher in the area of diabetes treatment and prevention November 20th Benoit Mandelbrot died 2010 Polish born French American mathematician originator of fractal geometry December 30th Yvonne Brill died 2013 Canadian scientist best known for her work developing rocket and jet propulsion technologies Topic <laughs> Deaths February 11th Jacques Loeb born 1859 German born physiologist March 22, Sir William Macewen, born 1848, Scottish surgeon. April 4, Arnold Pick, born 1851, Czech neurologist. April 24, G. Stanley Hall, born 1844, American psychologist. September 24, Alexander Le born 1843, French forensic scientist. October 1st John Edward Campbell born 1862 British mathematician December 27th AGDA Meyerson born 1866 Swedish nurse and healthcare profession activist <laughs>